Hi everyone, it's Myrna Jewell here from the Glenavon Library with your Tuesday trivia and I'm hoping that you all are keeping warm in all this nasty weather. I was going to do live but I decided that I wasn't sure where I was going to be so it was best to get this uh, filmed before it was too late. Uh, so here we go. Question one. The accommodation was the first all-Canadian made steamboat built in 1809. What company was behind this new boat? Was it A. Molson Brewery, B. Hudson Bay Company, C. Northwest Company, or D. XY Company? Question two. Who is Canada's richest musician? Is it A. Justin Bieber, B. The Weeknd, C. Celine Dion, or D. Neil Young? Question three. What percentage of the world's fresh water is located in Canada? Is it A. 50%, B. 10%, C. 5%, or D, 20%. Question four. What country has invaded Canada twice and lost? Is it A, Germany, B, USA, C, Russia, or D, Iraq? Question five. Where can you find the Narciss snake dens? which have the highest concentration of snakes in one area in the world? Is it A, Arizona, B, Ontario, C, Manitoba, or D, Colorado? Question six. In the book Fahrenheit 451, written by Ray Bradbury, what is the job of the main character named Guy Montague? Is it A, a fireman, B, a politician, C, a television presenter, or D, a factory worker? Question seven. What international cosmetics company was founded by a Canadian, and her name was, when she was born, Florence Nighting Nightingale Graham, and she started the company in 1910? Was it A, L'Oreal, B, La Lacombe, Lacombe, I think it's Lacombe, C, Clarence, or D, Elizabeth Arden? I gotta find question eight. <laughs> question eight. Hockey Night in Canada is the longest running sports program in TV history. But it started as a radio show in what year? Was it A, 1945, B, 1952, C, 1933, or D, 1925? Question nine. When was the first Miss Canada pageant? So this is the first one. Okay. And I'll, you'll understand why I said that when we get to the answer. When was the first Miss Canada pageant? Was it A, 1957, B, 1937, C, 1969, or D, 1923? And question 10 for the fun question of the day. What cocktail created in 1973 in Dawson City, Yukon, requires the consumer to sign a pledge before drinking. Mm. Is it A, sour toe cocktail, B, gunpowder plot, C, the bull shooter, or D, the crapper? Mm -hmm. That's a fun question. So, how did you get on? I hope you got on really well because these are fun questions. So, let's see how you got on. Question one. 
The accommodation was the first all-Canadian steamboat built in 1809. What company was behind this new boat? Well, that was A. Molson Brewery. I didn't know I'd been around that long, but anyway, I guess beer is popular, so. <laughs> Question two. Who is Canada's richest musician? Well, it's C. Celine Dion. So Celine Dion is worth an estimated $800 million. And so she's at number one. And then at number two is Justin Bieber, who came in at 285 million. So there's a huge gap between the two of them. Question three, what percentage of the world's fresh water is located in Canada? Well, that would be D, 20% of the world's fresh water is in Canada, which is fantastic. Question four, what country has invaded Canada twice and lost? And that's B, USA. USA invaded Canada in 1775 and 1812, and both times to no, to no avail. The only other attack was in Newfoundland, which was, which was um, hit by German forces during World War II. So. Question five, where can you find the Narciss snake dens? Ugh which have the highest concentration of snakes in, in one area in the world, and that's C, Manitoba. So I know where I'm not going on holiday. The dens have tens of thousands of garter snakes that gather there every year. By contrast, the island of Newfoundland has no snakes, so I might be going to Newfoundland instead. Question six. In the book Fahrenheit 451, written by Ray Bradbury, what is the job of the main character Guy Monta Montague? And that's A. He's a fireman, but he's not a regular fireman. In the story, television rules and literature is on the brin brink of extinction. The brink of extinction. And fireman in this book, they actually start fires rather than put them out. And his job is to destroy illegal commodities. And one of those illegal commodities is the printed book. And he also burns down houses that hide those books. So pretty good book. Number seven, what international cosmetics company was founded by Canadian born Florence Nightingale Graham in 1910? So uh, this lady um, is from Canada and her original name was Florence Nightingale Graham and she changed her name to Elizabeth Arden. So the answer is D, Elizabeth Arden. Florence changed her name to Elizabeth and opened a salon in New York's Fifth Avenue and is known for a number of firsts, one of them being the Travel Size Cosmetics. So that's pretty cool. Question eight. Hockey Night in Canada is the longest running sports program on TV. But when, uh, what year did it start as a radio show? And that was C, 1933. Number nine. When was the first Miss Canada pageant? And that was D, 1923. Now, when I asked the question, I said that's kind of a trick question, and this is why. The first winner of the uh, 1923 Miss Canada pageant was Winifred Blair, and she was from St. John's. But feminist groups uh, from around the country protested against this new thing, and uh, so they had the pageant closed down, and there wasn't another pageant until 1946. So there you go, kind of a tricky question. Right, number 10, which is my favorite question. What cocktail created in 1973 in Dawson City, Yukon requires the consumer to sign a pledge before drinking? And that would be A, the Sour Toe Cocktail. Sour Toe Cocktail. 
And these are all the ones that I gave the answers for are all real cocktails. And they're all a little bit unusual in their own right. But the sour toe cocktail consists of any alcoholic drink, but most prefer to use the Yukon Jack. And then the addition of a genuine dehydrated toe. Legend has it that during the 1920s, a rum runner named Lewis Lincoln and his brother Otto ran into an awful blizzard on one of their cross-border deliveries. In an effort to help the dog team, Lewis stepped off the sled and straight into frigid waters. When he arrived back at base, his toes had become so frozen solid that one of them needed to be removed to prevent gangrene. So his brother Otto cut one of his toes off with a cutting tool. And so um, to commemorate the moment, Otto decided to put the toe into um, alcohol. Years later, the cabin was um, cleaned up. Uh, the brothers were gone. And it was discovered by Captain Dick Stevenson, this toe in a jar in alcohol. So then they created the Sour Toe Club and it was formed with certain rules. There were certain rules before you could call yourself a, a club member. And one of the most important rules of that club was you can drink it fast, you can drink it slow, but your lips have got to touch the toe. Since the inception of the club, they have acquired a donation of over 10 toes. Okay, so now you know that, you know all sorts of things new. Um, I really appreciate you joining me today and I'm hoping you're having a good day and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.